Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to create an Enderbeely house. Today you'll be learning how to create an Enderbeely house out of paper and paint. So let's get started. You will need a palette with a wet towel on it, a pot of water, a variety of acrylic paints, a ruler, a paintbrush, a pencil, a craft knife, a black felt tip pen, a print stick, some A3 or A2 paper, some brown paper and a large round lid. So the first step is to take your piece of paper and fold it in half lengthwise. Then you are going to glue the inside together and fold together to make a long rectangle. Then at one edge you're going to draw a ruler's width line all the way down. This is where you'll be sticking the two edges together. Then you need to draw a door shape and then also a window a bit further down. So the door you need to make sure it's on the bottom edge and the window needs to be slightly higher up. It can be anywhere on the rectangle, it's up to you just to make sure that you have both as it is a house. The next step is now to create those traditional Enderbeely patterns. So they're very geometric, straight bold lines and you just need to cover the whole thing in geometric shapes. It can be any design, you can look online or you can look at laminates that you might have at school to create your design on your house. Keep going until the whole thing is covered in your pattern. Now it's time to paint it. So traditionally Enderbeely have a lot of primary colours used on their houses but also they have some secondary as well. If you're unsure what these are, have a look at the link below and that will take you to a video which will explain everything to you. So now you're just filling in all the geometric shapes you've created with bright bold colours. Keep going till the whole thing's done. The next thing you need to do is create the roof. So you're going to draw a circle and cut it out. Then fold it in half and half again. You're then going to cut a slit on one of the fold lines up until the centre point. Then you're going to glue a line down your cut and then you're going to take the two edges bring them together so they overlap slightly and glue that down. Then again you're going to draw another circle exactly the same as you did before but this time you're going to cut a swirl out of it. This is going to be for the thatched roof. Then you're going to cut little slits going all the way around the swirl. You may also like to cut a small circle out so you have a top for your roof. It will be the same process as you did for the larger one. Once you have your thatched effect glue that on to the original roof that you created first. Now it's time to cut out the windows and doors. So for the door, you want to cut only two of the edges so you have a hinge and then cut the window out fully. You need to use a craft knife for this and a ruler. Please be careful with this as it is a sharp item and you may cut yourself. Now you need to take your felt tip pen and outline every single detail of your geometric shapes. This gives it that typical Enderbeely look. Once that's done, you need to take your glue stick and glue down that original line we first created at the start. Then coil the piece of paper around to create a circle and then stick the two bits together. Now it's time to glue the roof on. You'll need a hot glue gun for this. Again, please be careful as you may burn yourself with this. I have done this plenty of times. So you need to place a circle of glue on the roof and then push it down onto the main structure. Make sure you are careful with this so you don't squash it as it is fragile. So there you go, you have your end Beely house. We've learned so much today in this video. We've learned how to create the structure, how to create a thatch roof, what a typical end Beely house looks like with the geometric shapes and how to stick it all together. Thanks guys for watching. I hope to see you all again soon.